Hello and welcome to Inside Scoop. I'm Sumi Das. Joining me is senior writer for CNET, Seth Rosenblatt. Seth, thanks Hi, for being Sumi. with us. Thank you. Um, so there was an open letter mm -hmm. written by a bunch of tech heavyweights that have mm -hmm. banded together. Um, it's an open letter to Congress and to the President of the United States mm -hmm. about security and yes. um, the the collective uh, sort of group is called Reform Government Surveillance. Yes. Tell us what this letter is asking for. I mean, the title kind of gives it away, but. <laughs> right. So uh, to summarize, there, there's a bunch of bullet points in the letter, but to summarize, uh, these companies are asking the government to uh, be more fair, you know, according to them, uh, in how it requests data from these companies. Yeah. So they want uh, more oversight, they want more safeguards, they want more transparency. Um, and these are things that technically they've had, but uh, because of various rulings in the FISA and surveillance courts over the years, uh, have been um, sort of hamstrung, and the government has found ways to circumvent them. Mm -hmm. And these companies are upset, uh, and they're not going to take it anymore. Yeah. So, so why now? Why are the companies mm. asking for you know limitations, like reasonable sure. limitations on um, the government's powers and abilities in, in terms of security? Sure. This all goes back to uh, the Edward Snowden document leaks. Right. Um, the documents that he blew the whistle on uh, have really changed the game. Uh, surveillance is something that is not just talked about people wearing tinfoil hats. Mm -hmm. uh, we've actually found out it's far worse than we could ever have imagined. And, uh, you know, and, and that involves pretty serious things like uh, various uh, governments from around the world being involved in uh, breaking cryptographic standards and uh, really doing uh, pretty severe damage to how the, uh, the Internet operates. What do you think is going to ha happen next? I mean, um, mm. we were chatting and you said this is sort of like a warning shot, right, in some yes. regards? Yes, absolutely. This is, this is definitely nothing more than a warning shot. Um, I, I, in and of itself, there's no teeth. But what it does indicate is that these companies that really, you know, of, often they, they, they get along in some ways, but they're always sort of arguing with each other and fighting with each other over oh, We should maybe mention and, which companies. Sorry to oh, interrupt, sure. but, yeah. you know, we've got uh, Apple, Twitter, Microsoft, Facebook. Facebook. Google, of course. LinkedIn. Yahoo, Google, LinkedIn, and uh, uh, AOL. So all the big players, right? Really. All the big players are involved. They're all agreeing to this. Uh, and that's a big deal. Um, what we're probably going to wind up seeing is nothing in the short term. Okay. But in the long term, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw far more uh, lobbying in relation to surveillance in, on Capitol Hill. And this is also uh, a sign to these companies' customers that they are uh, attempting to take steps to protect you. It's not something that I would personally put a lot of faith in at the moment. Okay. And uh, no response thus far from the government. However, no. the letter was just sort of... It was just released. Yeah. yeah. So. Okay. As far as customers are concerned, there's nothing really that they can do at this point, right? If they're using no. the services of any of those companies or the products that any of those companies have uh, put out, they're, they're, they're really just... Um, the companies are just letting the customers know, hey, we're doing this, and that's yes, it. Yes, absolutely. I mean, when the governments uh, have figured out how to tap into the Internet backbone, um, like, there's only so much that you can do. Uh, and unfortunately, you know, these, these companies are the biggest players, and it's hard to find services uh, that are not uh, these companies. So. And I think you bring up a good point about privacy and these companies sort of asking oh, sure. customers oh, sure. to the, give the, up privacy, the, right? There's no small irony in the fact that, that these are companies that for years have really been pushing people to share more, uh, if, if not uh, actively anti-privacy companies. Um, and now they're, they're taking steps to ensure that if someone's going to use your data, it's going to be them. Mm -hmm. so not the government. Not the government. <laughs> okay. Well, Seth, we will trust that you will keep us informed on this issue. Thanks Absolutely. so much. Thank you. For Inside Scoop, I'm Simi Das. Thanks for watching.